Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this trapezoid ABCD with the side length AD is 95 and this side length BC is 57. Moreover, we have got a green right triangle inside this trapezoid such that this side length EC is equal to this side length ED. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green triangle. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and consider this green triangle CED. Then we can see that this triangle is an isosceles triangle since this side is equal to this side. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle EAD over here. Let me go ahead and call this angle alpha and this angle as beta. And we know that the sum of all these three angles is 180 degrees. And we know this angle A is 90 degrees. Then these alpha and beta angles are going to be complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. And now let's focus on other triangle, this one triangle EBC. And we know that this angle is 90 degrees. Then this angle has got to be angle alpha because this whole sum of all these angles are equal to 180 degrees. Now once again this angle on this side in this triangle this angle is 90 degrees this angle B then this angle has got to be beta because the sum of all these three angle must be 180 degrees. Then we conclude that the triangle EAD and the triangle EBC are congruent triangles according to angle side angle postulate and here's our angle side angle postulate. So therefore we conclude that this side AE is going to be 57 units and this side EB has got to be 95 since these two triangles are congruent triangles. And now let's focus on this triangle EAD and we know that this is a right triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this side A, this side B and this longest leg as side C. And here's our Pythagorean formula where A equal to 57, B is 95 and we are going to calculate the value of C. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is 57 and then it's going to be a square plus B in our case is 95 square equal to C square. And now let me show you an easy way to simplify this problem. 57 could be written as 19 times 3. So I can write 19 square times 3 square. Likewise, 95 could be written as 19 times 5. So I can write as 19 square times 5 square equal to C square. Since 19 square is in common. So I factor this one outside. So we are left with 3 square plus 5 square equal to C square. So we ended up with the 19 square times this 9 plus 25 is going to give us 34 equal to C square. So let's go ahead and take the square root on both side on this side and on this side as well. And now we can see that this square and square root they are gone. So we ended up with C equal to here I split these radicals I just put it separately here this square and square root is gone so we ended up with c equal to 19 times square root of 35. So thus our this side length ed turns out to be 19 
times the square root of 34. So therefore, this other side AC turns out to be 19 times square root of 34 since these two sides are equal. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green triangle. And here's the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. And since we know that this green triangle is a right triangle, I can call this side base. And this side is our height. So then the area is going to be simply a half time base in our case is 19 times square root of 34 times the height is 19 times square root of 34 as well. And here in this next step I brought these 19 times 19 right in the front and I put these radicals together as well. Here in this next step, square root of 34 times square root of 34 is going to give us just 34. And if we multiply and divide, so our area of this green triangle is going to be 6137 square units. And this is our C value. Thus the area of this green triangle turns out to be 6137 square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.